today I'm going to show you how to make this very delicious tilapia fish. It is oven grilled and it cooks so fast. It was so good, I had to share the recipe with all of you. So if you're interested in seeing how I make this, keep watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe because there are more recipes on my channel. So feel free to check it out. The list of ingredients will be in the description box. For this recipe, I'm using fresh tilapia fish. There's just this taste and deliciousness with tilapia. You can use croaker, you can use any other kind of fish, but I love tilapia fish for this recipe. What you're going to do is make sure the tilapia is cleaned, you've removed the scales, and then drain it dry. Once you've done that, make sure it is really dry. As you can see, I'm trying to use a kitchen tissue to just wipe out any excess moisture. Now, I'm going to use a sharp knife and just create marks horizontally across this fish. And this place, this marks we're creating, this is where the seasoning is going to enter and this is where the fish is going to suck out all those, you know, yumminess. <laughs> I keep saying yumminess because that part was so delicious. So just do that on both sides of the fish. Now that I've done that, I'm going to season the fish. So what I have is salt and crayfish stock powder. I've mixed both of them together and I'm just rubbing it around the fish. Be careful so that the fins do not prick you because it will be very painful. It has happened to me so many times. So just make sure you try and get seasoning inside the fish and just around it, around the head, everywhere. This fish does not take long to cook. It takes about 10 minutes. So season the fish and just leave it on the side to marinate while you make the sauce. To make the sauce, we have spring onion, red chili, green chili, ginger, garlic, onions, and scotch bonnet. We're going to blend everything together to make a very delicious paste. So using your processor or a blender, put everything into the bowl, add some water so that it is easy to blend and just blitz away till it is smooth. There are different ways to marinate fish. This is one of the sauces I use when I want it to be colorful and very delicious. I also have another recipe which I just use seasoning to season the fish and it was still very, very yummy. So feel free to check that out. I'm going to link it in the info card or in the description box. Now I'm done blending, I'm going to heat up a pan. I've added just a bit of vegetable oil and I'm going to just pour in the sauce and allow to cook for about 10 minutes. Like I mentioned earlier, just cook this for about 10 minutes. The beautiful thing about this sauce is that you can make it ahead and you can make it in bulk, just store in the fridge or freezer. And whenever you want to season fish, bring it out and then marinate the fish. Once it has fried a bit, I'm going to season with some curry powder, some dried thyme. I love thyme with fish. The combination is just awesome. I'm going to add some salt as well. And then I'm adding some crayfish powder seasoning. Mix everything together and that's all the seasoning I need for the sauce. Sometimes I gauge that my sauce is cooked when I see the edges around. You can see the oil trying to float to the top. If you are making a big batch, this should be what you should watch out for. The reason we are making this sauce like this is to reduce the raw taste in the sauce because we might as well just slap it on the fish, but you need it to be very, very yummy. Once the sauce has cooled down, you are just going to transfer it to the fish and rub it around the fish like marinate the fish with the sauce so at this point i'm using a brush you can use your hands if you like 
if you watched my sister's baby naming ceremony video i uploaded it like a few weeks back or a few days ago if you've watched it you'll see that it was a fish recipe i did and i did it in a different way that one was equally as delicious but this is like my favorite way to make fish and now that the festive season is upon us i like to keep this recipe handy it always looks good when you serve your guests a whole fish they feel extra special Now that the sauce has gone all around, I'm using some of the leftover spring onions and I'm putting it inside the cavity of the fish. This is going to add a lot of flavor. I'm also adding some fresh thyme that I plucked from my garden <laughs> and I'm going to put it inside. This takes this fish to another level. If you can find it, please get it. Now I'm transferring the fish to a baking tray and I'm just going to put it in a preheated oven for about 12 minutes. If you don't have a baking tray, you can use foil paper and then just put it in the oven. This was very fast. This is one of those meals or delicacies you can make for visitors if you didn't know they were coming. You can just defrost your fish and put everything together and it will be good to go. It will be very, very delicious. What stood out for me in this recipe is the fresh thyme and the spring onions that I used in the cavity of the fish. It made all the difference. Sometimes I don't use it, but I noticed that whenever I use it, the fish tastes really good. Also, if you're baking fish, make sure you bake it just as you're about to eat it so that you will enjoy it. This is what I did. I had mine with jollof rice and a glass of juice and it was really, really yummy. I hope you really like this recipe and I hope that you try this recipe. It will make me happy if you tag me on social media, that's on Twitter, Facebook, even YouTube. I'll be happy to see it, okay? I also have more recipes coming for those of you interested in recipes. Feel free to comment below your recipe request and I will take it on. This is how I demolish the fish. I'm not great at eating all the bones, but these are the leftovers. Can you do better than me? Let me know in the description box. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.